my name is Grace, and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God's Amazing Promise. Abraham is called by God. Genesis chapter twelve, verse one to nine. Chapter fifteen, verse one to seven. Abraham lived in Haran. Abraham, God said, "I want you to leave Haran and go to another land." God didn't tell Abraham where that was. Trust me, God said. So Abraham lived in Haran, and one day God said, "I want you to leave Haran and go to another land." And God didn't tell where he had to go. God said, "Trust me. We should trust God. God, right?" Do this, God said, and your children will become a great nation. How? Abraham wondered. His wife Sarah was too old to have a children. Trust me. So, and God was saying, "Do this. Your children will become a great nation." And Abraham wondered, "How? Sarah is too old." Question: Did God tell Abraham where he was to go? No, God didn't tell. Go where I tell you, God said, and you will have. More distance than the star in the sky. They will bless the whole world. Trust me. And God was saying, "Go where I am saying. You will have distance than. Yeah, you will have more distance than." Their disguise, and your nation will bless the whole world. Wow! So Abraham trust God to. Took Sarah and his nephew, Lot, and everything they earned. He went where God told him to go. He went to the land of Canaan. Yeah. So Abraham trusted God and go to the new land called Canaan. Yeah. He take his nephew and his wife. <laughs> God said Abraham would have more distance than there. Number one, the cows. Number two, the palm tree. Number three, the stars. Number three was the correct answer, right? When he arrived, Abraham came. The sheep came. God appeared to him. I will give you this land and you and your children. God said, "Abraham built an altar to God there." So, 
got camped at the shape and God said I will give you this land to your children and so Abraham has built an altar because for the thanks I think Sarah is always making the soup in these pictures, right? Abraham traveled around God's promised land. He was glad that he had trust God. So he built another altar to give thanks to God for all he had been promised. So Abraham traveled around God's promised land. I think it was so good, right? And he was glad to trust God. And he built another altar and gave thanks to God. <laughs> Question Abraham built an altar to God, giving thanks for all he had been promised. True. Yes. Even I was Abraham, I will be so thankful to God. And but I was if I am Abraham and I have to trust God, like Sarah is going to have the baby and he will have many nations and he also doesn't know where to go. I think that time I will be a little bit, I will be hard to trust God because like also Sarah is like 80 years, 85 years like this and so I can be confused to trust God or not but still Abraham trusted God there's an activity. What's that activity? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hmm? Oh. Yes. Oh, color the story. Play. Let's play this. Yes. I will not start over because it takes so many times to do this. So, first, we have called it Abraham, right? Why it does not work? Wait a minute. Oh, it's not working properly. Sorry for that. Okay, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And today I read God's amazing promise. Abraham is called by God. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 9. And chapter 15, 1 to 7. Yes, today at the Bible story, did you enjoy? And next time I will read another story. So, so. Next, next time I will read Abraham's Big Test. Abraham's Big Test, I will read. Then let's see you next time. Bye!